And I'm here with Mike Lawyer. Mike, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Michael Lawyer. I'm the uh, lead for the Brew Crew here at Christ Church Episcopal on Capitol Hill. And uh, tell us about Brew Crew. Well, uh, it's a group of us. Uh, many of us have been home brewers before and realized that getting together to do it in the church kitchen uh, as a group of friends was a lot more fun than doing it by ourselves at home. Uh, and so we pooled our equipment together and now we make most of the beer for the church social events and fellowship gatherings. Nice. How long have you guys been doing it? Uh, we've been brewing here about three years now, um, and most of, many of us have been brewing at home longer, although there's a lot of folks who are new to the hobby too, since they've got a group of people here and don't have to buy the equipment. Great. Have, um, when did you start brewing and where have you been brewing? Um, I actually started home brewing in law school because I needed to actually you know, make something uh, during the time. So a buddy of mine uh, and I went in together on a kit and started making some home brew there and I've been doing it on and off ever since. So how important is water to a home brewer? Um, water is huge, uh, especially because most home brewers can't afford the heavy duty filtration systems and the other things we really rely on the quality of municipal water, uh, even to, to buy bottled water that's been theoretically filtered and processed. Uh, would drive our costs way up. We, we've got to have um, city water that's viable. Um, and as any of the brewing histories will tell you, water is an essential ingredient of beer and you can affect a lot of things about the flavor and the mouthfeel and, and the way it goes down uh, by how good quality your water is. So your water comes from where? We're City of D.C. water right now. Um, someday we might move to a, a fancier system, but we haven't been able to uh, spring together the equipment for it yet. Where were you when you first started? Where were you in law school? Uh, we were up in Minneapolis, which actually has one of the finest municipal water systems in the nation. Um, they're very proud of it as well. They should be a uh, city of 10,000 lakes. Most of them very good for drinking, uh, but they uh, work real hard to, to take good care of the water up there. It's one of the reasons Minneapolis has such a great brewery scene. And we've talked to folks about where they get their water from, from municipal water supplies and the profile mm -hmm. of that water. What do you see as the difference between the Minnesota water and the, um, uh, and the DC water? You know, this is one of those places where we rely on the science that a lot of the testing and the reports that gets done come back. Uh, the Minnesota water is it's, it's just a little bit cleaner and a little bit crisper. I mean, the DC water is actually pretty good. They, they are trying to, they, they've made great progress over some of the horror stories of uh, 20 years ago. Um, we haven't done a whole lot of the, the deep chemical analysis on it because we don't have the equipment to change it. Uh, so there isn't much point in studying the things that you can't fix. What are some of the things that you do while you're brewing that might change uh, the composition of the water, the pH? The... Yeah, and there's a lot of brewing additives that you can start to use to correct things. Um, but again, DC water's been pretty, it's pretty down the middle. Uh, so we don't have to do a whole lot of fiddling with it at this point. Um, but you know, with rising challenges with climate change and other things like that, it doesn't just affect the kinds of grains we'll be able to get. It'll start to affect the water supplies too, and it's something we've got to keep an eye on. And what do you think of the idea of using reclaimed water uh, that treated to drinking water standards, mm -hmm. but from a uh, wastewater treatment plant, from reclaimed water plant for homebrew? Uh, I can't afford the equipment that can do that, but if they've got the, the good reclaiming equipment, I mean, you know, they can turn, the, it's amazing what they can strip back out of water uh, and, and turn it into potable water. It's, you know, it's all about what the end product is, not where it started from. Uh, stuff coming out of the oceans wasn't exactly clean when we pulled it out of there too, but somehow in the process of raining, it, it tidied itself up. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.